And welcome back to the Mark View Show. You know, the Gonzaga basketball program now reaches into every nook and cranny around the globe looking for the greatest talent that they can find. And of lately, they've had to go to Spire, Germany. And out of there, they pulled Elias Harrison. What a great player this guy's going to be. We had a chance to sit down one on one with Elias Harrison. Here's what he had to say. Okay, Elias, what's your full name? Elias John Michael Harris. Elias John Michael Harris. Tell me about home. Home, yeah. Germany. Yeah. Well, similar to Spokane, just a little bit big, uh, smaller, my town. Yeah. And um, the weather is similar. A little bit warmer back home than here. But it's, yeah, pretty close. It's called Spire. Right. Spire, Germany. Yeah. And where's it near? What's the biggest city it's near? Like all the way from Frankfurt. Tell me about your family. My family. My mom's German. My dad is American. Um, my dad came over to Germany with the military, and that's how he met my mom. Yeah. And then they got me and my sister. Then, um, yeah, my parents now are separated, both reburied, yeah. got kids again. So I got a big family. All right, so tell me about Elias Harris. You're a young guy, a little guy now, right? And when did you pick up the game of basketball? I started with basketball when I was seven. And you loved it right away? Yeah. Of course, my parents both played basketball, so... From the beginning on, I wanted to play basketball too. So now, was your dad a college player? Uh, yeah, for a small school, but I don't, I don't remember the school. Your mom played. Where'd she play? Inspire too. Oh, she did. Yeah, she yeah. played pretty good. So give us an idea how big basketball is in Germany. We all know who Dirk Nowitzki is, right? So we know there's some basketball being. Well, played. basketball in Germany is not really a big deal because like soccer is the main thing there in Germany. Everybody goes crazy about soccer. Basketball is just a small thing, but still a lot of uh, people play basketball. So yeah. Why don't you play soccer? I see you being a goaltender. Well, I, was, I started to play soccer yeah. and basketball at the same time and cross the country. And then I just, like, when I got older, I just decided to stick with basketball. When did you sprout up? What are you, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, right? Yeah. When did you jump up? When I was 14, 15, I started to crawl really, really fast. Before, all my friends were taller than me. I thought, there's no way they can be taller because my dad's pretty tall. My mom is tall. So I thought, there's no way. <laughs> How did Gonzaga find you in Spire, Germany? Tommy Light, he was the one who recruited me. He got connected over there in Germany, and uh, that one coach from another club in Germany told him that I might be interesting for uh, Gonzaga, and so he started contacting me, and that's how I ended up here. Elias, what else do you do besides play basketball? Besides basketball, that's a good question, because basketball's my life, so... Not really much. I mean, we got free time, really yeah. try to relax. Are you a video game guy? Not really. When I was young, I was, but... Yeah. What uh, kind of music do you like? R&B, hip-hop, so... Well, not that, like, techno, German techno music thing? No, not really. Everybody no. thinks that German people just listen to techno music, but that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> and the tight leather pants or whatever it is. No, the, no yeah. this is Bavaria with the leather pants. It's that's just, like, one Bavaria. small part in Germany. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, where else could you have gone besides Gonzaga? Well, um, Cincinnati tried to recruit me, Washington Huskies, and a couple other small schools. Nice. So why'd you pick GU? Well, because I trust the coaches from the beginning on, from the beginning of my recruiting. And then after my visit here, this year in February, I was here for the college game against Memphis. I saw the campus in a small community, and that's what I like about Gonzaga. It's like everything's there, like big family. Take a look, Carl, two, two, You go at the rim. Yeah. You're ferocious. I mean, you, when you turn and square up on somebody and go after the, go after the rim, uh, Elias, it's awesome to watch. That's just part of my game. I don't know where I picked it up from. I just do it. That's what, I don't know why. You're trying to break it, though. It seems like you're, I mean, you're, you're trying to put that ball through the hole like there's no doubt. Yeah, because I think if you try to break through the rim, nobody can stop you. So that's what I want to try to do. Uh, your dream to play in the NBA, Elias? Of course, I think it's everybody's dream to play in the NBA. When did that start? Do you remember when that started? I think when I started playing for the youth national team in Germany, so when I was 16 years old. Yeah. You think you can get there? I hope so. I know it's a lot of work, and I still try to get better every day, so we will see. Final four, and how big is that to a guy coming from Germany? Well, for me, it was big from the beginning, on because I watched college basketball a lot together with my dad. And I knew already in the early age that I want to play there. Because that's a, if you compare like college, the atmosphere of college life and 
the fans, there's you can't compare it to Germany. There's no way. If you like lucky in Germany, when a good crowd show up, like in my case where I play like 600 people, and here like 6,000. It's pretty cool playing in it's that smack. Like, yeah. yeah. Tell me what that's like. To be in the court surrounded with so many people, yeah. it's like unbelievable. They push you so much. You just want to play good. And yeah, they just like the six man, they support you. I got to ask you about Wake Forest. Okay. And what happened with that play, at least. Take us back there and, and uh, you got tossed out of the game. Was it fair? Was it fair? That's a good question. I mean, in my opinion, I did nothing wrong because I just stepped back, tried to box him out. I didn't try to, I meant to hurt him or play unfair or something like that because it's not part of my game at all. I'm not that kind of person. So, um, but the referee saw it like that and um, I have to deal with it. That's a tough pill though. I mean, I know your dad was here. You get tossed out of the game and that's the, the last thing that you're thinking about going into that game. It's tough, yeah. It wasn't a good feeling at all. But um, I have to deal with it and show the basketball that I'm not that kind of person who try to play unfair or do things like that because that's not me at all. How's this season end, Elias? What's a good year for Gonzaga? How deep do we go? A good year for Gonzaga will be to make the championship. That will be a great thing. But um, I think with that team, Sweet 16, Elite 8, that would be my, my goal. That's what I want to like to reach.